Hey, hey, but DOG here, and I am back from vacation, yeah. <laughs> so last week, I ended up spending all week in uh, Las Vegas. It was a great time. Uh, me and the wife, we hung out, got some sun, hung out by the pool, and uh, just had a great time. We saw a couple of shows, and it was just all around a good time, but uh, <laughs> time to get back at it. So, all right, guys, so if you haven't seen, on the Sunday showdown, we have one again this is our I think uh, second week and we're going to be defending again in, uh, in next week so we've gotten uh, two Sunday showdowns we've won in a row now and uh, in the latest one you can go over to the Sylvia Kids channel and I'll put an annotation up here and you can head over there and take a look at the result show for that and uh, <laughs> it was a good time so the next one coming up the challenge that they put in was to uh, tell a story about my childhood so I got some plans coming up for that. I thought it would be kind of fun to uh, maybe talk about the first time I started driving. And it's kind of something that's pretty dear, near and dear to my heart at the moment, especially since my oldest son, he's just starting to drive now. So I'm having to drive him around, having to have him drive me around and just watching him trying to learn and get used to using the stick shift and all that. Guys, if you have never used a stick shift before, it uh, <laughs> it can be tough at times. So if you guys uh, are out there and you guys are going to be getting ready to uh, be driving or you've got kids that are going to be driving, then uh, the Sunday showdown, the next Sunday showdown is going to be for you. All right, guys. So I just wanted to kind of give you a quick update and kind of get share some, some of the information out what's going on. Uh, with you guys so when I was uh, on vacation I went and saw the uh, the blue man crew the blue man group and uh, <laughs> that was a pretty awesome show what they did was a they, uh, they kind of have they play drums they do some music stuff they do some comedy stuff and they play on like these pipes and stuff like that they kind of pound on these pipes and extend them and shrink them and do all this kind of crazy stuff but uh, the show was pretty funny uh, it was a good time and uh, <laughs> I even got to uh, go and have an interview with a blue man so after the show I was able to go out there and it's kind of funny because these guys are almost like mimes they're like blue headed mimes and they don't even talk but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that up here in the corner you can kind of watch what's going on with that so it's just kind of funny it was a good time and I just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up kind of share that quick little interview with you so uh, with that guys alright I hope you enjoy the rest of this video Okay there. They got a video of the inside of my mind in this thing. It was crazy. But it was a good time, guys. If you guys are ever in Las Vegas, hit these guys up. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. <laughs> That's what happens when you have your wife be your cameraman. So <laughs> So the, the video quality there kind of sucked. It was on a camera phone, but the show was pretty cool. What was uh, what I was talking about in that little video clip was uh, <laughs> during the show they did this thing where they took a camera and they started like shooting it around the audience, and uh, we were able to get front row seats. We were right up in the front, and when the guy came up and he s shined it on me, and I was like, yeah, get some, ha ha. And then uh, I was laughing, and what he did was he kind of zoomed that camera and ended up like way down zooming inside my mouth I'm like what the heck and then that's shining on the the back screen in front of like I don't know a couple thousand people inside the the theater there and there's they're shooting the the inside of my mouth and stuff and zooming in and I was just laughing and stuff it was pretty funny and um, then I looked behind him and <laughs> on the screen behind him is <laughs> like my tonsils or whatever I'm like what the heck so it was pretty funny but uh, so that was uh, the blue men guys there uh, they were a lot of fun, and then uh, while we were there, we also ran into a whole bunch of celebrities. <laughs> so we ended up running into, uh, who was it? It was Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I got my picture with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then I got my picture with <laughs> Chuck Liddell. Yeah, I was calling her number for a fight. Yeah, see? Can't you see? <laughs> oh, and I also ran into Snoop Dogg. Yeah, sat in his chair, and he was like, what's up, Saeed? And um, <laughs> and then I also ran into uh, you know K 
Captain Jack Sparrow or Johnny Depp. So uh, just hanging out there in Vegas. So it was kind of funny. Actually, that's a wax museum, and all those people are just made out of wax. But went to the wax museum. That was pretty cool, and we had a good time there. We also went to like a mob show. Like uh, it was at the Tropicana, and they had like an interactive mob show where you know you got to get inducted into the mob. So they take you through this kind of walk through the place and you kind of see all the history of the mob and how it went down and then they give you like a thing of money and they have you take it to Big Tony from down the way and you, if you give it to him and you don't take any of the money they give you like 15 bucks in there you could actually just took the 15 bucks and ran with it but uh, you would have got shot and then or you can turn the money over to the police and then you can be a snitch and you'd end up getting shot that way too but uh, I ended up uh, making it to the end I think I was made made it made was made I did all the the right things but uh, the couple of the people that I was with ended up getting shot but <laughs> it was kind of funny the uh, it was a good time but uh, so yeah we went to the mob interactive museum there we went to the wax museum we ended up going to the blue man show we ended up doing a whole lot of stuff and then just generally sitting around the pool and getting a suntan it was nice it's 105 degrees and uh, it was a great time so <laughs> all right guys oh and one last thing we had breakfast at the uh, hash house and go go and that was at the hotel we were staying at we were staying at the imperial palace and you know what it would have been a lot better to stay somewhere else that place was kind of a dump but uh i've stayed uh new york new york mgm grand and uh, a few other places but uh, those were by far a lot better hotels just pay the little extra money to stay there <laughs> alright guys but check out this chicken and waffles and it had like infused with bacon inside and then like a maple syrup kind of drizzle thing going on that stuff was amazing big old giant crazy breakfast it was like 14 bucks or something alright guys thanks for watching I just wanted to give you an update of what was going on last weekend why you didn't see any videos <laughs> I got a ground in the work, so it should be up in the next day or so. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and have a great day.